So today I'm going to be talking about the YouTuber Parlo. Um, trigger warning because there are mentions of suicide in this video. So if that's not the type of thing that you want to hear about, please click off this video. I also want to make it clear that I'm not making this video for any malicious reasons. I don't want anyone attacking Parlo over this because that's the last thing that he needs. So if you've been following Parlo over the last few days, you likely know that he was admitted to the hospital. Now he's kind of made it seem like he got swatted, that someone had swatted him and that's why he's in the hospital. And from the outside looking in, this looks like a bad thing, right? Like, wow, someone swatted Parlo what the heck why would they do that but once you look deeper into the situation you begin to understand why someone would do that and the person who called the cops on Parlo ended up saving his life now over the last week or so Parlo went through a lot and tweeted out a lot of concerning things being a hated youtuber constantly involved in conflict and drama for months will eventually push anyone to mental and physical health problems anxiety attacks eating disorders breakdowns sleep disorders and much worse it isn't fun don't make the same mistake I did and then he proceeds to respond to some people that were attacking him basically clearly you can tell that the drama he's been involved with his channel and the internet in general are taking its toll on Parlo and things only get worse when he tweets out this people like this push me on the verge of a mental breakdown and then he posted a whole twit longer kind of going into detail about how he had harmed himself and he had tried to take his own life now now, at this point, obviously, people were concerned. And apparently, behind the scenes, Parlo was sending pictures of him cutting himself to people and basically telling them that he was going to end his life. A few days later, things just continued to escalate because he makes another post saying that he tried to take his life. Trigger warning, suicide update, and self-harm update. And in, in this post, I'm not going to read it out, but he basically says that he attempted to take his life for a second time and failed and that he would attempt to do it again. He then responds to this tweet by saying, daily uploads shall continue for now. Clearly, Parlo is just not in the right mindset whatsoever. And that's when someone ended up calling the police and sending a wellness check to his house to make sure he wouldn't hurt himself. It looks like they broke down the door and they took him to the hospital. Now, Pine Drex made this thread detailing the events that led up to this. I'm sure you guys have seen my recent tweet on the police being called on Parlo. With that being said, I like to provide more information on the situation and illustrate how bad it all really was, as the situation was a lot worse behind the scenes than you may think. I'm also making this so people stop thinking that the situation is fake or exaggerated, trigger warning, self-harm, and other sensitive topics. The contents in here are really serious and will probably make some people uncomfortable, so hence the warning if you're sensitive to that stuff and don't read. Parlo slit his wrists over 200 times and re refused to stop, even saying you can't do shit shit and straight up said he might hang himself by the end of the month. Parlo only saw the situation as a joke and would send nerd meme emoji gifts and refused to get help because he thought it was for losers and gave pussy vibes and shit like that. He never took it seriously or saw a problem with it. I want to say as well that Parlo sent images of his slitted wrists to many minors including myself and a 13 year old and straight up cut himself in a VC in his public discord server of 4,000 members mostly being of kids. The images he sent count as gore and is illegal in most areas. I think it's safe to say Parlo lost his mind and straight up went insane around this time. He was saying he was God at one point and questioning if I was real or from his imagination and at one point tried to say I'm a backstabber for wanting him to get help. Now I I'm gonna skip some of this thread. I will link it in the description if you want to read the entire thing but he continues by saying some people are claiming that he got swatted which is not what happened at all as swatting is a lot more dangerous and the reasons they are sent is lied about whereas Parlo was genuinely in danger and needed help drastically. Hopefully now he can recover and take a break from the internet because he really needs it. I want everyone to know that his struggles are real and very serious. He's not lying about or faking anything. It's all 100% true and I'm glad he's finally getting help. Now, when I had heard that Parlo was in the hospital, I was really hoping that he'd get some help, that people would talk to him and get to the root core of his issues so something like this wouldn't happen again. But that doesn't appear to be the case whatsoever and Parlo has even admitted to lying to the people at the hospital and seems to have treated the entire thing as if it were a joke. And it's pretty clear 
sure that his stay at the hospital hasn't really changed anything. When I'm discharged from the hospital, I will tell no one of my mentality or plans. Trust no one in life. I wish to get what I want. So right there, he's alluding to the fact that he's going to try and take his life again and things just keep getting even more concerning. Just broke up, I think, with my boyfriend. Cut ties with seven YouTuber friends. Damn, God really wants me to end it all today, lol. And this was all while he was still in the hospital. But as he got out, he tweeted out this. I have been friends with fakes and frauds. The situation has really helped me see that. I recommend printing your online friends too. Cutting ties with them actually gives me satisfaction. Obviously, that is not a healthy mindset whatsoever. I've been in that mindset a few times myself. It's it's not healthy, trust me. And these friends that were apparently fakes and frauds are the people who were trying to help him. Apparently, he sees people trying to help him as being fakes and frauds when clearly that's the opposite. If someone were a fake friend, they would just sit by and let you hurt yourself. An actual friend is not going to let you do that. I'm out of the hospital now. And then Parlo proceeds to upload a couple videos talking about it and even did an entire stream talking about it. And that stream was basically just him ranting about his friends who were trying to get him help. Also, I just want to say that Brazo is extremely immature and disgusting for saying something like this to Parlo. I've told him in private to cut it out, but he, he just sees this entire thing as a joke, which is just disgusting. But at this point, I am genuinely concerned for Parlo. The mindset that he has right now is not healthy whatsoever. He seems to be stuck in this. I need to upload videos every single day. I, I gotta upload. I gotta post on social media. And that, that's that's not a good mindset to have. Like I said, I've been in that same mindset and it's, it's not healthy and it's not good. Clearly for Parlo, it's not a good mindset. And I really do hope he takes some time off of YouTube. You can take a week off. You can take a couple weeks off. Your entire channel is not going to die. Believe me, okay? I have taken quite a few breaks. You're going to be fine. But it's just really concerning to me how Parlo has managed to twist all of this in his head and, and making people and himself believe that his friends are wrong for trying to keep him alive. That's that's not a wrong thing. And clearly, there's, there's two things that don't make sense here. Like, he wants to keep uploading videos every single day, but then he also wants to take his life. And to Parlo, I just gotta say that your life is much more important than your YouTube channel. And if, if this stuff, if this internet stuff is really taking that much of a toll on you, you have to take a break. This isn't a joke. This isn't funny. No one's laughing at you. We're all just concerned about you. So yeah, these are just my thoughts on this entire situation. Please, Parlo, just take a break, please.